my name is uh, Dr. Richard Kim. Um, I'm currently at ASCO 2022, um, and here in Chicago, uh, I was I presented a poster, a Keynote 651 study. Uh, this was a um, Phase 1B study of chemotherapy plus immunotherapy in first or second line setting. So this arm had a couple of arms, but the arms that I presented was a B and D arm, where the patient. Okay, the patient got Fulfox plus pembrolizumab in first line setting, and the patient got Fulfury and pembrolizumab in second line setting. Uh, whole, you know, whole basically, you know, uh, concept behind this was trying to see if chemotherapy changes the microenvironment, uh, so that when you add immunotherapy with chemotherapy, whether it would enhance efficacy. Um, it was a small study of uh, 30 some patients in, in each arm, and basically what we found was that. Uh, that by adding pembrolizumab to chemotherapy, uh, that there was no issue with safety, it was very well tolerated, and definitely we did see some response in combination. However, based on this, uh, this study, it's tough to say whether combining chemotherapy IO is better than standard therapy. We did look at some of the biomarkers as well in this study, We're looking at gene expression, uh, PDL1, even in the KRAS status. Um, and and uh, there is some correlation uh, between PDL1 and gene expression and better response. Um, but however, KRAS status was irrelevant to the outcome. Uh, therefore, I think one could conclude that from this study was that by adding uh, chemotherapy to pembrolizumab, uh, th that combination was safe and there's, we seem to see some efficacy with the combination. However, it is too early to say whether this is actually better than the standard treatment of care.